YouTube, what is up? What is good? I'm So Kyle Shaw, and welcome back to the channel. This is the first official video of 2019. I am back in San Diego, back home, and I'm hitting up a local store called TC's Rockets. It's a big uh, comic book store. They got vintage toys and stuff. Uh, they used to have a location back uh, close to where I live, but since then they've moved to an even larger location, and I already took a look around. It's huge. I'm going to show you guys uh, what the store is all about, man. It's pretty cool. So I'm right here at the entrance, and as I pan around, you can see how big this store is. I've got the comic book section right here, the new comics, and then you got the bins over here. And over there on that side of the wall, through those windows, it's a big gaming section. You know, they're playing some kind of card games and Star Wars miniature games. But we're gonna take a closer look over here at these glass cases where they got vintage toys. That's pretty awesome. Alright guys, so here towards the entrance of the store, they have the vintage toy section. So it's pretty big, they got a lot of stuff. They got Thundercats, Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe, Star Wars. And we're gonna start off on this case over here. Let's see what they have in there. I already see a whole bunch of cool play sets up there up on the shelves. I'm not a big G.I. Joe guy, but as you can see, I don't know if you can tell by the glare, but they have lots of figures. And I got a couple of vehicles down here. X-Wing right there. There's a vintage Millennium Falcon. That's pretty cool. There goes the G.I. Joe headquarters, I believe. Don't remember what it's called. And then down here they got more stuff in boxes. There goes a techno drum from the Ninja Turtles. Which I still would like to have that one in my collection. Looking up at the shelf. We see a Ninja Turtle sewer playset right there. Vintage, and then the turtle van and the box. Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain, which I have from Matches of the Universe. And then some more G.I. Joe vehicles for all you G.I. Joe guys. They got lots of G.I. Joe here for you. There is that, I forget his name, it's from Brave Star. And just more G.I. Joe in the cases. There's a guy with the Gator, it's actually a really cool figure. And that guy, I don't know his name, but it's kind of like a falcon or a hawk. He's pretty cool. An octopus. You guys know what that is? Alright, so now we're gonna get into the vintage Star Wars section, which I love and I have almost every figure in the line, except of course for the harder to find ones. Oh my god, here we got some of the Ewoks animated series figures. These are Grade it too. And now I got this guy. Those Tig Frome. It's one of the harder ones to get, of course. And this guy, Size from Oh my god, these are so awesome. I got that guy as well. There goes Low Gray. And Uncle Gundy, of course. Uncle Gundy graded. Let's see what they have down here. We got some more of the Ewoks figures, which I have uh, those right there. Kazi Bond, I have him. Which I found most of these I found at a local comic book store. Comics and stuff were uh, cheap. They have I had them in their bin, their cheap toy bin. So I got lucky. 
Uh, these are pretty cool little figures down here. These are the miniature Star Wars. And the Dagobah playset, of course, which I have. And I do have the box as well. Some paper plates from Return of the Jedi. And there we go. It looks like uh, sheets, bed sheets. And some erasers, vintage erasers. And up here, of course, more of the figures. There's the prototype Boba Fett reproduction and some of the Uze stormtroopers there, the repros. I think those were originally made in Turkey, the bootleg Uze's from Turkey. But that's pretty cool, it's pretty cool to have those, one of those in the collection. And then of course all the major characters, I got them here. And this glass case has more figures. There you go, uh, Yoda, and then Blue Snaggletooth. They have them here, which I'm lucky enough to have in my collection. One of my favorites. Yak Face is one that I really want. Some Darth Vader's Boba Fett. That's cool. They have Blue Snaggletooth. Just some more figures. Jabba the Hutt and his throne. Tauntaun, Dubaks, and some of the small vehicles. And the Ewok place it.
guys. So we're about to go into the small section here they have of all the back comics, the back issues. We got all the bins right here. And up here we got some modern Star Wars figures and play sets. Here's the Millennium Falcon. This was a Toys R Us exclusive. It's actually really cool. It's a really huge box. I like that they kept the old picture from the original box. And then we have the Black Series TIE Fighters. And some lightsabers. And then all down here. Power of the Force Star Wars figures. I remember being at midnight at Toys R Us when these first came out for episode one. Now you can get them from good prices for like five bucks, ten bucks. Right in this wall, they have nothing but Marvel Legends. Here's all the newer Marvel Legends. And then over here to the right, they got some of the old school Toy Biz Marvel Legends, which I used to have a huge collection of, but sold them off to concentrate more on the vintage, vintage toys. But see here, they have a Juggernaut. I never had that, that that one right there. I did have Cable, but man, they got some good figures here. Magneto. There's the Silver Surfer with. Howard the Duck and they got some of the harder to find figures here for the old school Marvel Legends there's Bullseye some of the Ghost Rider villains Logan comes with the motorcycle I used to have that one and then the MODOK build a figure right there uh, these are some I haven't seen before. These are from the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider movie. Oh, these are actually pretty awesome. Here we go. Here's Ghost Rider. Raging Ghost Rider. I've never seen these before. These are cool. Okay, so right here behind me are some glass cases with lots of toys inside. Uh, we're about to go check them out in closer detail. They got some really cool stuff, some cool Transformers figures, and uh, we'll see what else they have. So as you can see in here, they have a whole bunch of glass cases with lots of cool stuff in here. I'm gonna take a closer look. Here they got some Transformers, Devastator. This thing is huge. Grimlock. I forget this guy's name. I used to watch the Transformers cartoon when I was a kid, but I didn't really have too many of the toys. I had Grimlock. A little sound wave in the back. But uh, this Devastator here is pretty awesome. It's huge, probably what, like 20 inches maybe. Got Unicron over here, and then another huge Transformer. Up here we got some, uh, those might be Power Rangers, but definitely Voltron, some vintage Voltron. Those I know. Well, they got the figures inside right there, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. You can put the figures inside the actual cats. We got some NECA Predator stuff. And some more Transformers. Goes hot rod. Some dino bots. If you know what line these are from, let me know. These are pretty big action figures right here. 
Because it's vintage Robotech. Some more Marvel Legends down here. Mojo. Some of the builder figures are here. Like Galactus. Apocalypse. And got a Stormtrooper on a speeder bike. Alright guys, so that was TC's Rockets, the new and improved TC's Rockets the store is huge. And they got a huge gaming section for tabletop and Magic the Gathering, and of course lots of toys and comics. I was talking to Steve who works there, I'm not sure if he's the owner or not, <laughs> I didn't ask, but really cool guy, let me record there, because I always ask when it comes to, to these stores. Uh, so if you want to start your vintage Star Wars collection or G.I. Joe collection, definitely come here because they have a whole bunch of figures, especially some of the harder to find ones like Blue Snaggletooth. And they got some of the Ewok animated cartoon figures. Uh, Great it, but uh, they got some of the hard ones like Size From, Tick From. Uh, pretty cool. I ended up getting uh, this comic book, New Gods, issue number one. Artwork by Jack Kirby. It's just an awesome book. I love this cover. Uh, I've been wanting it for a while. Uh, some of the prices go up. So but I got a good deal here at TC's Rockets. 
So remember guys, if you're in the area or live in San Diego, check them out. Huge store, comics, games, gaming. And uh, remember, hit the like button if you like the video. If you have any comments, leave them. Let me know what kind of things you saw in the video that you would have liked to picked up. And remember, follow me on Instagram at SoCalShalin to keep up with what's going on with me in between videos. Catch you guys next time. I'm SoCalShalin. I'm out.